Nail Stampholics and future Nail Stampaholics. Today, welcome to I Want to Call Stamping 101. I'm going to take you through um, the best nail polish stampers that I've come across and show you my duds. <laughs> and I'll show you nail stamping polishes and why I like them. And I will show you some nail stamping plates. And then I will show you how to properly stamp um, your nails and get a good image and all of that fun stuff. So let's get started. First of all, I just want to say that all the products that I like um, will be in the description box below. And first we're going to talk about stampers. So this was the first stamper that I got. And I got it in a kit with like 10 stamping plates. This does not work at all. It was like under $2. Um, I bought one for me and my daughter. And then I um, I went and I bought like, when we found out that this didn't work, I went and bought a whole bunch of um, stampers and sent them all to her. And then I told her to tell me, you know, which ones worked. Well, we never got, <laughs> I never got the feedback on all of them. Um, so I went ahead and I bought this one for me. It's a clear jelly stamper, and I got this off of eBay, and this was probably under $2, too. And it came with this scraper. Yeah, I don't like this one very much, either. This one only works intermittently. So, I got sick of all of this, <laughs> and I went to Uber Chic, and I purchased their sticky stamper. I completely love this. Now, I keep the sticky stamper in the little baggies, um, because it's sticky, and everything in the world sticks to it. Um, but I, yeah, everything in the world sticks to it, including your image. So it's really awesome. I completely love it. It comes with a, a black head and a white head. And, uh, the black one is for when you're using, you know, lighter colors or white. And then the white one is for everything else. So it's pretty cool. And it came with this scraper. Completely love it. Now the only downfall is this is you can't see where you're placing the image. If you're using kind of like a random pattern, it doesn't matter, then this is fine. Otherwise, you know, you can't see where you're placing the image very well. Um, that's the only downfall to this one. Otherwise, I completely love it. So with that being said, I went and I purchased their little um, clear stamper. Now, when I purchased my clear stamper, it was before that they had a holder for it. So there was a um, there was a YouTube video that said how to you know get this little ring from the um, hardware store and then stick it in here, um, but it was like a few weeks after I had purchased it. Um, then they came out with the ones with the holders. So theirs now has a holder. I um, I. I did order a couple holders. I just don't have them yet. Um, actually, my friend ordered them, and I haven't picked them up from her yet. So she lives kind of far away. So um, anyway, so I do have the proper holders for this. This one works intermittently, so I'm not real fond of it. Um, I completely love this one. I purchased this one from Bundle Monster. It works every single time. So I'm not sure, this one has a little case holder, which I completely love. It's huge, you can see right through it. This is a really nice holder. I, you know, I'm wondering if it works because, you know, the holder is all enclosed in it or whatever. This picks up the image every single time. I have never had a bad image uh, off of this one. So this one is my all-time favorite. I use this one first all the time. If I can't get the image with this, then I'll use one of the sticky stampers. But, you know, I completely love this one. And it came with two little scraping cards. I like these scraping cards. I don't know why. I just do. But um, this is my favorite. I would highly recommend to anyone just to go out and and buy this one. I think it was like 11 something. Um, but completely worth it. In fact, I'm getting one of these for my daughter. <laughs> so she'll be very excited to get one of these, but I love it. It's my favorite. Now to clean your stampers, you will want a lint brush because um, you don't want to use acetone or anything on these. I, I'm not sure if, you know, I, I've heard that they, you know, they 
they they're damaged you know they get damaged from acetone cloudy or whatever you just don't want to use acetone on there they're not acetone safe so you just um, roll your excess ink off onto the lint brush and it comes right off it's it's perfect or if you have lint on it or something like that just roll it in there everything will come off it's this is what you're gonna want to get if you're doing stamping so we're going to talk about stamping plates, but first we're going to talk about stamping plate storage. Purchased the stamping plate storage sheets from Bundle Monster, and I purchased a starter kit. So there was uh, multiple different sizes, and it came with these bags. All have very good rings on them. They fit into any three ring binder. Um, the one set, first I, I had a one inch binder <laughs> and the entire set just filled up the one inch binder. So I knew I was going to need more. So then I went with a three inch binder, but after, um, after school was over, I purchased this binder, um, after school had started and they were clearancing out everything. It's two inches on one side and two inches on the other. And it's got a zipper and it comes with a handle and a strap. So I really love this binder. But back to the storage. <laughs> so um, these sheets are really great. They're double-sided. Um, they fit their squares and circles. And then this pocket right here comes with, um, it's got two, two compartments, one for here and one is here. And I do have some bigger stamping plates that don't fit in um, the sleeves, so the pockets are perfect for that. And you can purchase you can purchase just the smaller sheets or a variety pack like I did, or you can just purchase you know um, these pockets. So there's a lot of different ways. And then these are some 99 cent um, some 99 cent pencil cases that I got from Walmart um, because a couple of these don't fit in here. They're a little bit large for here and a little bit small for the other section I'm going to show you. So I put those in here and then I've got some more stamping plates in here that were the larger size. Over here we've got um, some stamping sheets that came in the set that fit the extra large Bundle Monster stamps. They also fit this one that came from eBay. Um, this one fits in there, but it slides out a little bit because it's not real snug in there. So I put it going this way so it doesn't slide out so much. And then it came with these sheets. Um, so you can put you know, nail decal stickers or whatever you want in there. But these stamping plates that I have fit perfectly and they're snug in there so they shouldn't come flying out. And if they did, that's why I got this. That's why I kind of really wanted the zip around. So anyways, it comes with several sheets of everything. So I can't imagine that I'm going to run out anytime soon. Anytime, anytime soon of space. I, I completely love this setup. Now to talk about stamping plates. Okay, these are the stamping plates that I got in that cheap set. These um, work with the sticky stamper, but only intermittently with my Bundle Monster stamper. They're really thin. Um, they don't work at all with the cheap, cheaper stampers at all. So I don't know. You know, if you buy them in a set and they're under a dollar, yeah, I'm not sure they're the greatest, but I've gotten some of the images to work with the sticky stamper. Then I got this at Cranberry Fest from um, Moyu, a person was selling some Moyu stamping plates and stamping nail polishes. So I got this little one. Um, I am going to order from the Moyu website in the United Kingdom. I will link that information down below. It's going to take like, I don't know, probably like a month for me to get my stamps, um, for me to get the order plates and then get the stamping plates in. But they're going to be along the size of this, I'm guessing. And from what I've seen in the pictures and US dollars, it'll be a little over $7, but they had a lot of nice stamping plates and I'm really excited to order from them. 
if you order over 25 pounds, which is, you know, somewhere over $25 in U.S. Um, money, then the shipping, um, standard shipping is free. So, um, so that's, that's where I'm going to go with that. Um, this actually saving plate is one that I got off of eBay for, you know, a couple dollars. I love it. It's, it's pretty awesome. I like these ones on these cards. They're kind of cool. Bundle Monster also does some on cards, and these are some Blogger collab um, stamping plates that I got from them, and I, oh my gosh, I just completely love these. I love Bundle Monster. They're very reasonable. These are like $5 of stamping plates, so very, very reasonable. Completely love it. I'm excited to always purchase from Bundle Monster. Plus, you get free shipping if you order over $25. It comes from... Hawaii, which I wish I was in Hawaii. Um, they come from Hawaii, and I get them pretty quickly, usually three to four days, and I get those. I have some uh, miscellaneous ones that I've ordered off of eBay, and anything that I've gotten, these are like 99 cents to, you know, like $2. I like them. They're pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Um, these... I purchased from Uber Chic. I love Uber Chic. Um, you know, it's really cool. I don't purchase a lot of their plates. They're kind of expensive. But I did get a three-piece set. Actually, this is it. This three-piece set was $24.95, $24 I think. And that's reasonable if you get them in a set, but not all of their stamping plates are in a set. This one that I got here is was $14.99. Yikes. <laughs> um, but I completely love these little leaf images, especially this is one of my favorites because you like put black or a color over there and whatever nail polish you have underneath will um, will show through those little leaves. I love it. And then they've got the reverse over here in case you want colored leaves. So I did splurge, and they have another, they've got like three more stamping plates that I'm going to completely love and probably at some point buy, um, but they're kind of pricey. And their shipping is $5. There is no break in shipping. You pay $5 whether you purchase a lot or a little. There's no free shipping. So that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> um, but otherwise, their images are really nice. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with those. And then, let's see, here's a few of my smaller Bundle Monster um, stamping plates, which I completely love. They um, Sometimes I buy these in a collection, which their collection prices are always really awesome. Um, I've purchased a couple of collections, and I completely love every single one of the stamps in the collection I purchased. So those are pretty cool. And then over here, I got these. Now, these stamping plates are from Mundo de Uenas, and I'm um, hoping I'm saying that right. These came from Mexico. They're four fifty to five dollars. Oh, not that one. Um, these are four fifty five to five dollars a stamping plate. They're this size, and they're pretty cool. They've got some really awesome, awesome designs. I'm com I completely love that. And uh, here's another stamping plate that I got off of eBay. I think it was like $1.50 or something like that. But it's so cute. This cute little Halloween one. So you can you can get stamping plates just about anywhere um, for pretty good prices or really expensive ones. But you have to really love them. <laughs> um, and then this is another one that I got on eBay. I think it was over $2.00. So, and all of these seem to work except for these, these really inexpensive ones that I got in a set of 10 for a dollar. So, these are just some of my stamping um, plates. Stamping nail polishes. Yes, you need special stamping nail polishes. I have tried to get away without buying the special nail polishes. And as you can see, I went all out and got them. Um, regular nail polishes just don't work real well. They're not pigmented enough. Um, regular nail polishes are made to build up color with, you know, one or two coats or, you know, two to three coats. And stamping nail polishes aren't. They're very pigmented. 
they're made to um, you know just stamp the you know one stamp and you've got a really good you know coverage for it um, most stamping nail polishes are stamping only nail polishes you can only use them for stamping they just don't work really well um, as regular nail polishes except for this brand right here this brand um, from super chic lacquer actually is a regular and stamping nail polish it's completely awesome it's um holographic um i completely love it i can't even say how much i love it um their website did say that these could be used um for stamping as well and it was part of the urban dictionary collection and it was the only collection on their website that did say you could use it for stamping so i purchased four of the colors that they had in that collection they had more over here, I purchased some Moyu London stamping polishes, which I really like. Um, these colors, these three colors right here, um, the green, the silver, and the blue stamp on black. These two do not. <laughs> and then let's see. Over here, the Mundo de Unes um stamps they stamp really good over black and then in the background over there I have my bundle monster collection happy with my bundle monster collection it doesn't really stamp over black that well but I did hear after um, quite a while that I purchased these that they came out with some more pigmented colors so maybe those work out um, better over black now I am not going to show you each color um, and how it stamps. I do have some separate videos on each of these um, and I will link them in the description box below. Actually I have separate videos on everything except for the Bundle Monster ones and those might take a little bit of time to get out because there's I have so many of the colors. So when that comes out, um, it will be in the description box below. And if you're not watching this video for quite a while, then it already might be in the description box below. Um, so it'll be linked to my other videos. Now at long last, how to stamp. So to stamp, you first of all, you're going to need a lint brush to clean the stamper head. You're going to need acetone, and you want to use an 100% pure acetone on the stamping plates because you don't, other nail polish removers might have something in it that would, might leave a residue on your plates, and you don't want that. You'll need um, some cleanup pads. To clean up the stamping plates, you'll need your stamping plates. I'm going to use a black and white stamping polish, and I'm going to show you how each one of these stamping heads stamps. Also, I have my Uber mat to protect my work surface, but I like to stamp on some paper towel. Stamping gets horribly messy, and the nail polish just really kind of pools on your mat. Even though it's easy to clean up, it makes a huge mess, and paper towels are just a little less messy, and I'll show you why. All stamping plates usually come with a, a film on the top of the stamping plate, so you want to make sure you remove the film before stamping. Very important. <laughs> I think on one of my stamping plates, I didn't know there was a film. It might have been clear or something like that, and um, I was trying to stamp it with the film on there. It will not work. So. Make sure that your stamping plate does not have a film on it before you start to stamp. Very important. Okay, first I'll explain what to do and then we'll actually do the process because it has to be done quick um, because the stamping polish dries really quickly. So the process is to cover your image with the stamping polish, then have your stamper handy scrape it off and this is why I have the nail polish I usually try to tend to scrape out towards the edges of the um, stamping plate so it doesn't get you know a bunch of nail polish in on the other stuff so I usually try to scrape out and then it gets nail polish all over your scraper so when I scrape out I just kind of rub it on the um, paper towel 
So you're going to polish, scrape, and then pick up the image. Now, to pick up the image, you kind of want to do like a rolling motion, and you want to do a quick motion. You don't want to do this. If you do that, I guarantee you, you're not going to get a good image. It just never works good that way. So you just want to do a quick rolling motion, and that usually picks up the image pretty good. At least with these stampers, I think it does. So, let's get started. Um, since I have the black head already in, we'll use the white on the black head. And I'll just do these little flowers right here. They look really cute. So we're going to put the white polish over the image and then scrape it and pick it up. And that is, oh, that is just beautiful. Now with this sort of image, you don't need to know exactly where on your nail to stamp. Oh, one other thing I did forget to mention, I wanted to mention it. You want to put, you might want to put a protective barrier along the edges of your finger, along the edges of your nail, so that when you stamp, you don't get um, the nail polish all over your finger. When that happens, you have to clean up. And if you use black and you've got like dry hands or something like that, it really sticks in the creases. But I don't, I'm not going to put any protective barrier on right now. There's like a whole bunch of protective barriers you can use. I'm actually at some point going to purchase um, a liquid latex. It's kind of like a body latex and you can just pour it into an empty nail polish bottle and then brush it on. But for now I had some kind of, I'm pretty sure it was glue in a bottle and um, I gave it to my daughter. So I don't have any. <laughs> I've been using Elmer's glue when I need to use it, which Elmer's school glue works just perfectly fine. It peels off really great. So, okay, so let's get started. Now that this has been sitting on the, um, on the stamping head while well, I talked about that, it's probably dried up. So let's take it off of here. So to do that, we're just gonna put it on the lint brush and I'll show you how to clean up the stamping plate and your scraper. You're just going to take a little bit of the acetone and clean it off the stamping plate. And then if you want to clean your scraper, you can clean your scraper too. Okay, so let's try this again, and then I won't talk. <laughs> I'll just stamp it on my finger. So we're going to put the stamping polish over the image, scrape it off, pick it up with the stamper. It looks completely gorgeous. And then you're just going to stamp it on your finger, kind of roll your finger in there, and there you go. Perfect image. And then you would just, if you didn't use a barrier, you would just clean up the edges. Oops, sorry about that. There, so if you didn't use a barrier, you would just clean up the edges. Wow, this, this is just a really great stamper. I love it. Okay, so let's move on to the white one and we'll use black. I've changed to the white head, so let's put the black on the stamping plate, and we'll scrape it off, and pick up the image, again, a perfect pickup, and then you just kind of roll it on your finger, and there you go, perfect. Perfect stamp, perfect transfer. Okay, now let's try the Bundle Monster Clear Stamper. You can see the mess on the paper towel, that's why I use one. So now we're on to our clear stamper. So we are going to brush on the nail polish, scrape it off and pick up the image. And this one has a perfect pickup too. It is completely awesome. And then we will just transfer it onto my nail. And it is perfect. 
So any one of these three stampers is completely wonderful. With the Bundle Monster stamper, you can kind of see where you're placing the image on your finger. So that gives you an idea with you know, smaller images you might want in a certain spot. So as I would recommend one of these. Actually, I would recommend just buying both just for different types. In most cases, it will not matter which way you scrape the image. However, I found with this little claw image here, it does matter. So if you are scraping it in one direction and you're not able to pick up the image, try scraping it in another direction. And I'll show you what I mean with this um, little guy right here. We'll get the clear stamper out and we'll put black polish in. We're gonna scrape it and then we're going to pick it up. And as you can see, it did not pick up the image. And if you look close, it did not pick up the image because it didn't get in the grooves really well. So let me clean this up and we'll try it again. Okay, so now if you put the polish in and you scrape going in the direction of the claw marks, then the polish gets in there really well and you are able to pick up an awesome image. And then if you're using this kind of plate, you're able to see where on the nail you want to put your image and just roll it on there. Perfect. Now I'm going to show you how to shrink an image. So I have my plate and I'm going to do this mermaid face right here. And what you want to do is you want to take your stamping head out of the holder. And we'll set that aside. And just like before, you're going to put your stamping polish over the image. You're going to scrape it. Then you're going to squeeze the stamping head and then you're going to do a rolling motion to pick up the image. And then when you let go, it is a little bit smaller. So then we'll just put that on my finger here. And there we go. Now I'll show you what the image looked like when it was bigger. So we'll do that again. Okay, so I'm going to put the black over my image, scrape it, and I put the stamping head back in the holder, and we'll just pick it up as normal. You can see how much bigger it is. And we'll get that on my finger. You can see a comparison to how much bigger it is. So that's how you shrink an image. One more time how to shrink it. Okay, last time I did this way, so now I'm just going to roll it this way. And then place it on my finger. And there you go. See, this one seems to be like a little bit wider. And this one's normal, and then this one is the, the side to side one. Now I'm going to show you how to stamp using multiple colors. This first one takes a little bit of practice. You actually just want to get a teeny tiny bit of the color right in the center. You don't want it a big, big blob, because when you put your second color on, then it'll, it'll bleed together. And it won't come out right. So just something very thin. And then with your second color, just go in over the top. Make sure you kind of rub your brush off a little bit in case you got some of that second color on there. Then go ahead and scrape it and pick it up. And there you go. You got just the color in the center. It's completely awesome. And then we'll just Stamp it right here, and there you go. Pretty cool. One more multicolored technique, and that's you just put a drop of color, another drop of color, 
And then the third color right over here. And I'm going to twist the plate. So I'm scraping down and then scrape it and pick it up. Okay, and I am just going to stamp it right here. There you go. Awesome look. So I'm sorry that this video was so long, but I really wanted to give you a lot of information on stamping and stamping products and actually how to stamp. So I hope this video helps and I hope you all liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and thank you as always for watching. Bye!